for this. Convicted mass murderer Joseph Duncan appeared today in an Indio courtroom. Duncan is facing the death penalty for allegedly killing a 10-year-old Beaumont boy, Anthony Martinez, back in 1997. KPSB local to reporter and our legal analyst David Wall was in court today. So, David, this whole fight was over a laptop computer. It was, Brooke. It's never been done before. Judge David Downing says there are just too many documents for Joseph Duncan to sort through as he prepares his own defense. The judge says, give him a laptop. The sheriff says, no way. Laptops are contraband. Now, Duncan, who's already been convicted of murdering four members of an Idaho family five years ago, is now facing a single count of capital murder for the kidnapping and murder of Anthony Martinez. As he's done before, Duncan decided to represent himself in this case. The judge says with over 30,000 documents to review, the condemned drifter needs to go high tech. The man in charge of the jail told me why, in his view, that's a bad idea. Well, I think there's many concerns. The, um, the, the wireless capabilities, of course, would be one concern, but even something just as basic as what is a laptop made out of metal and hard plastic, um, acid and batteries, um, wiring, those types of things. There, there are many security concerns a laptop would bring. And the judge was not happy today. He set a compliance hearing for March 12th regarding that laptop. The last time Duncan had a laptop in his Idaho trial, he ended up blogging about his experience from his jail cell. In the newsroom, David Wall, KPSBLocal2.com. And David, the Sheriff's Department also has to be kind of concerned about the precedent this might set because Duncan is not the only person in that jail who's representing himself at trial. That's exactly right. That's what uh, that sergeant told me today, Brooke, is that they're concerned it could cause a flood of inmate requests for computers, and that would, of course, be a major security issue. All right. Thanks, David. Police looking for another killer tonight who gunned down a 30.